Hey YouTube, just thought I'd get on here, make a video, haven't made one in a while. Made a teaser video from Seattle and then never got back to it. So, um, video's twofold. First of all, I think this is getting cleaned up and trimmed quite a bit. Uh, it's grown as long as I expected, or longer than I expected it to, um, before a lot of people start saying too much. Um, the other thing is, it's getting a little warm and I work outdoors and uh, I fear it's going to get hot. So. I'm just going to clean it up now, but I was able to get my state issue photo ID, my driver's license, with the beard, so that's pretty sweet. So, uh, you know, live in infamy, and next year probably go longer, and I've learned a lot this year from it. So, first things first, the beard's taken care of. So, next I wanted to kind of go back to the pipes I showed in the video uh, in Seattle. This is, these are both Kirsten pipes, this one here in my, well, should be on your left hand side of your screen. I don't know. The one on my right hand uh, is a bent Meerschaum. And this one is a straight, obviously, wood. Both of these have a nice uh, kind of uh, silver-ish marbly stem with black. And uh, these are really cool pipes. I'm going to show you the bent one because uh, I realized I was doing that whole series on car pipes. And this one actually makes pretty good car pipe if you set it in a cup holder because it fits... Like that so cool thing about this pipe is this bowl unscrews actually it needs to be tightened a bit but it unscrews and comes off like this for cleaning you can also swap the bowl out so that's kind of cool and that leaves you with this and then you can pop this out and that comes out for cleaning and then this part the bottom pulls off here got a little hole in the top here you can see that it lines up with this hole here and when you smoke in it it goes down there and acts actually you know it catches the moisture there and then you've got the hole too that it pulls uh, smoke through the design as you can see hopefully has uh, little fins built into it so it's designed to smoke very cool now what I like about these pipes is the fact that they do smoke cool I put some Honeymead, I believe is what it was, in this pipe with the uh, Meerschaum bowl, and it was delicious. I see how it could have gotten a little hot had you uh, been smoking that in something else, uh, or a traditional pipe the way I was puffing on it. However, I had no problems in the Kirsten. I should have mentioned that before. These are Kirsten pipes. Um, and uh, it smoked really well. So, ooh, that is not holding together well. Uh-huh. Well, here's the problem. I'll show you that right now. See how that unscrews? This, for some reason, just became loose as I was screwing it in there for no apparent reason. I'm thinking it's the Meerschaum is a little soft. It could be this is really old, supposed African Meerschaum that should be hard. But I can tell you, as I try to screw this in here, it's unscrewing itself. And it gets loose. So I'm going to have to use a flathead screwdriver. But anyway, this one works the same way. Got that piece that pulls out and this piece that pulls out. You can see through it. And uh, yeah. Now, the, going back, now I got a little sidetracked by the fact it didn't go together right. Um, one of the things I like about these pipes is they work like your dual chamber uh, calabash, reverse calabash. I didn't realize that until I was smoking it this time. As reverse calabash has kind of become kind of a cool thing. I wanted one, and then I realized I have one. I actually have two, as you saw. And they smoke really well. The downside is they look kind of funny, but they're very durable. Uh, the cap on the back here that I was showing you, it comes out. The other thing is you can twist it, and it holds all the moisture in your pipe. So you can stick it in your pocket, in your bag. As long as you've got a way to cover the tobacco, it'll move with you. So I just thought I'd go through that with you and show you uh, some two really, two really cool pipes made out of Seattle. Um, it kind of started my tradition of buying a pipe from a place I've been or spent some time or had a very significant impact on my life. Um, you know, along those lines, I've got a Tim West pipe uh, because I'm from Central Ohio. Uh, I picked up this uh, Morta, Chris Asquith Morta uh, from Smoking Pipes down in the Carolinas because that's where I was married. Um, I got these two Kirstens from Seattle area and 
and we'll see where else I live that's important. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd get on and share that with you guys. And uh, meant to do it sooner, but uh, trip got away from me, and then uh, dog had surgery when we got back. So any anyway, I've been kind of busy, but uh, thought I'd get on and share it with you. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions on the Kirsten pipes or got a little confused, let me know. But uh, I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.